Hagibus means speed, and the typhoon brought wind gusts as fast as 216 kilometers an hour. The storm smashed into Japan's main island of Honshu on Saturday night as one of the most violent typhoons in decades. More than 7 million people were placed under non-compulsory evacuation orders, with tens of thousands moving into shelters. The intensity of rain is something we have never experienced. It is highly likely that landslides and flood watch areas might be already experiencing some kind of disaster. It is level 5 warning, which means people must consider trying to save their lives. Landslides and flooding claimed lives overnight, and the toll climbed higher after sunrise on Sunday as the scale of the devastation became clear. Most reported deaths were those whose homes were buried or swept away. More than 300,000 homes still standing are without power or running water. The water came up higher than my head in the house. It turned over all the furniture inside. It's like a washing machine now. Rescue efforts were underway on Sunday, with boats and helicopters deployed to reach people trapped by the catastrophic flooding. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe called a meeting to discuss rescue efforts. Along with police, firefighters and the Coast Guard, 27,000 self-defence forces personnel are currently undertaking rescue and relief operations. When necessary, we will enforce such measures in order to repair infrastructure, to return power, water and public transport. We will continue to work with related government institutions. While the lucky ones are beginning to clean up, some living on the coast are still on high alert. Others are desperately waiting for news of their missing loved ones. Sahel Damuni, TRT World.